He's stealing shit from the game. Sniper going to play. Ready to go? Yeah. Guys, uh, I might say uh, a few hours to let it all soak in now. We a win under the belt against the Bulldogs. I'm feeling pretty good in the team's name. Yeah, it's a good feeling. Yeah. Yeah. Pretty intense game and um, a, lot of, a lot of us boys first uh, in the final and getting the game through pretty well. If it's for yourself and it's five other fellas, as you mentioned, that haven't played first grade semi final before, how important is that under the belt for you to so move into the next week? Yeah, very important. You know, just, just to uh, get some confidence. On a bit of a roll, hopefully, you know. And um, from now on, it's do or die, so I'll see you never again. And it's a great roll the boys are on now, six in a row, which is an interval club record. Yeah, yeah, you don't really focus on those things, I suppose it might look, on, look back on that uh, at the end of the season and look back, but um, as I said, at the moment, it's do or die, so you've got to win this one to keep going. Is there that genuine feeling that you can put three, three more wins on the top and send that winning streak tonight? Yeah, that's it. Maybe a self-belief at the club, you know, while we're not getting ahead of ourselves, but you know, as long as we keep working for each other, we just um, <coughs> take it week by week. It's <laughs> just, I don't know, it's been a bit of a scare there with Webb, you know, what I'm saying all the time. I'm not 100% what the go is with Webb. I heard he uh, hurt his um, car. He might be out for a week or two, but um, I think it's possible to be okay. Well, you came off a bit of a uh, towards the end there, was that just because you were just uh, exhausted at the end of the game? Yeah, I, was, I think I was just tired. I was struggling to keep up in the defence, I think, what, when the Bulldogs were really had it under the pump in that last 10 minutes or so. And, um,